Well, I've made my tweaks with those pots and uh, that's the furthest left I can get, so that's pretty damn close. But the issue is my source is not 1000, it's about 978 and the voltage was rather high as well too. So I've got my uh, 976 here, 978 pretty damn close, but I'm at 2 volts per division, 2, 4, pretty well 5 volts peak. So 0 0.707 RMS, I'm looking at about you know, uh, 3.5 volts, so that's supposedly supposed to be around you know 0.7 volts way down here so it's taking a larger signal to get the proper amount of deflection so what does that mean I'm looking here at the uh, schematic There's my input. So instead of, instead of taking 0.7 volts to get my deflection, I've got to put in, you know, four-ish voltage, four-ish volts. So I've got some electrolytics here. Somewhere here, somebody is not amplifying enough. So these are the op amps. And a FET. Hmm, I'm going to have to study this a bit. Before I go any further, I uh, wanted to replace these 40-year-old electrolytics. So I uh, just unsoldered one leg on each one just so I could get to the values. They conveniently were all facing down. So uh, I'm uh, going to replace those first before I go any further. Okay, got all of the electrolytics replaced. It was a total of 10 in this one. Seems to uh, be a little bit different than uh, what the online schematic got some different values in this version here so they're all 25 volt should last another 30 years I uh, measured every one of these and uh, the yellow ones were 100 microfarad they were actually uh, pretty close they were in pretty good shape they were maybe uh, around uh, 117, 119, very low leakage, so they seem to be uh, still in pretty good shape. Those gray ones, man, you know, they were pretty well all shot. You know, the closest one, you know, these were all 1 microfarad, 2.2. Uh, the closest one, and there's only one for a 1 microfarad, it was half a microfarad. Uh, high leakage, uh, just shot. So, 
No wonder I couldn't uh, make adjustments here to get uh, close enough. So now that I got some new electrolytics, let me uh, button everything up and uh, let's try those adjustments again. Woohoo! If you look closely, I've got the covers back on. That means a lot when you put the covers back on some electronics. I've got my uh, one kilohertz signal coming off my uh, Marconi signal generator. I figured I'd pick uh, from that source. Uh, the uh, Synadder is on and uh, Look at that. Left deflection. Exactly where it's supposed to be. Uh, I replaced the electrolytics. Like I say, previously, you know, they were, uh, they were all shot. Now here we go. Operational unit. I am uh, very happy to see that. Well, now that I'm at that stage, Let's actually hook this up to a radio and uh, see what it's supposed to be doing on an actual radio. I uh, thought at this point in time I'd mention that uh, I uh, picked up this display polish. I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, I did use this on the uh, plastic facing here and it actually, you know, it did help. Uh, a little bit. You know, it didn't really clear everything up to a brand new state, but uh, it's a, a noticeable improvement since the day I got it. So, uh, you may want to consider a product like this. This was about uh, under $5 US. Got it off eBay, of course. And uh, there's this, and then there's some other uh, flavors as well, too. But uh, this was the, uh, the, the cheapest one. So that does work, so not only, you know, this is a meter face, whatever else you got that uh, needs a little bit of cleaning, you know, it's, uh, I'd recommend it, you know, I've tried other cleaners and they didn't really do anything. Tried the olive oil thing and that looks okay as long as you, you continually have olive oil on it, but uh, this, uh, this, is, this is okay and uh, it doesn't break the bank. Alright, let me hook this up to a radio and let's see what we get. I have the uh, realistic TRC 457 on the bench here. This is what we're uh, going to be using for our test subject. Got the leads hooked up to the speaker. I can see how having a uh, 8 ohm dummy, dummy load would be handy. So I don't have to uh, hear that tone. And uh, there's our result. I'll step through on the uh, signal generator and uh, let's see what we got. So right now we're running at 100 microvolts. Let's go to 5 microvolts. Let's go to 1 microvolt. So at one microvolt, we're getting our 12 dB. Result. Let's go down to one microvolt. Let's go to point Five microvolts. And the lowest my generator can go is to point one. So let's go point point two five. I think that's a spec. So point two five. And 
and let's go to the bottom end point one. No, I didn't take that. Try that again. Point one. Okay, there we go. Point one. Well, there you have it. Operational Synad meter. Should be good for another 30 years. Thanks for watching. See ya. Mm-hmm.